Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Thursday, March 3rd, 2016, around 8.03 in the evening in Bellarmine, Massachusetts. It's dark out now, cold. Tomorrow's going to be mostly cloudy. Some snow in the forecast, maybe a cold into an inch if we're lucky. More on the Cape, but it will be gone by the weekend. Next week, going to be very, very warm. 70 on Wednesday. I just hope this is not an omen for a snowstorm in mid to late March. It could happen. Some news to report. U.S. News and World Report has voted Denver the best city to live in the United States. And the 16-time world champion Ric Flair will be inducting Sting into the WWE Hall of Fame. This is a good choice. And that's about it on the news. My third and final video blog subject of the night is a personality profile. Tonight's personality profile is about former professional wrestler King Con Bundy, a big man, one of the biggest men in professional wrestling history. He was over 440 pounds. He was nicknamed the Walking Condominium by WWE Hall of Famer, the late great Goel Monsoon. Um, King Con Bundy was in the world of sports entertainment for close to um, 20 years. He became a successful actor and comedian after leaving the world of sports entertainment. King Kong Bundy's real name is Christopher Palacios, and he was born in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and grew up in, near, in New Jersey. He was trained to become a professional wrestler by Larry Pretty Boy Sharp. Sharp. He made his professional wrestling debut in 1981. He wrestled under different names like Boom Boom Bundy and Chris Canyon and Chris Cannon. He wrestled in a few um, regional territories in his rookie year, even in the WWF as a preliminary wrestler. And he lost to such stars as Tony Atlas, Tony Gurley, and a few others. His first big um, Push was in World Class Championship Wrestling. He was nicknamed Big Daddy Bundy, and he was an ally of the Von Erichs. But he turned on the Von Erichs, and he was managed by Gary Hart. He was built from Norm, Alaska, and King Con Bundy feuded with the Von Erichs. He lost to Fritz Von Erich as a retired retirement match in Texas Stadium. Eventually, King Kong Bundy has it, it had his head shaven, and he won a couple of titles in World Class Championship Wrestling, including the America's Championship. And then King Kong Bundy went to Mid-South, and that's how he developed the five count when he had preliminary matches, squash matches, and he would splash the wrestlers with the avalanche, and he, the referee would count, would count one, two, three, but he wanted two more, four, five. He wanted a five count. Then he went to Georgia Championship Wrestling and he was part of the stable, the Legion of Doom with the World Warriors, the Mass Superstar, Jake the Snake Roberts, and the Spoiler. And actually, King Kong Bundy and the Mass Superstar actually turned on the Legion of Doom, actually beat the World Warriors for the Georgia National Tag Team Championship, but that was vacated because the superstar got injured. And then um, King Kong Bundy went to Memphis to CWA when he was managed by the mouth of South Jimmy Hart, and he feuded with uh, Jerry the King Lawler. They traded the uh, Southern Heavyweight Championship a few times. And in 1985, King Kong Bundy went to the worldwide leader in sports entertainment, the WWE. Jimmy Hart was his manager, and he got a major push. And he beat SD, SD Jones in the Madison Square Garden WrestleMania 1 in 9 seconds, but it was closer to 25 seconds, but that was just to push um, King Kong Bundy as a monster heel. He was nicknamed the Walking Condominium by Goel Monsoon. Goel Monsoon said he was well over 500 pounds, even though he was billed after like 445 pounds. He probably weighed for he probably really weighed 500 pounds. He squashed wrestler after wrestler after wrestler. 
in the summer of 1985. Um, King Kong Bundy attacked Andre the Giant in a match at Toronto's Maple Leaf Garden against Big John Studd, and he gave him splash after splash after splash, and it broke the Giant's um, sternum, and that was kayfabe storyline. And then um, Bobby Brain Heenan got um, King Kong Bundy to join the Heenan family, and he had to trade Adrian Adonis and the Missing Link, and then King Kong Bundy continued his big Porsche team with Big John Studd for about a year, and King Kong Bundy was in the main event at WrestleMania 2 against Hulk Hogan after he splashed his, lashed him in a, um, interfering in a title match with Don the Rock Morocco, the Magnificent One, at a Saturday Night's main event. Hogan won that match. And King Kong Bundy continued to team with Big John Stead throughout the, the several um, months. They had some dissension among the ranks, but that did not fe they did not get into a feud with each other. After Bun after Stead left the WWE, King Kong Bundy became a solo wrestler, and, he, and his push kind of faded away in the WWE. He wrestled at WrestleMania three in a midget. And a mixed six man tag with um, Lord Littlebrook and Little Tokyo to face off against Hillbilly, Hillbilly Jim and and uh, Haiti Kid and Little Beaver. And King Kong Bundy actually got disqualified because he slammed Little Beaver and gave him an elbow, and that was not against that was against the rules. King Kong Bundy was kind of being phased down the cards for the WWE. He once most of his matches, but he wasn't getting the monster push. His last high-profile match in WWE was at Saturday Night's Main Event in January 1988 by beating, by losing to Hulk Hogan. Then King Kong Bundy left the world of professional wrestling for many, many years. He went into the world of acting. He, he was in a couple of, of like, moves movies and he actually wasn't uh, married with children because they had and that the family's name was the Bundy's see King Kong Bundy and he was in a couple of commercials for like computers eventually he grew out his hair because he was bald he actually started a wrestling school and it was rumors that King Kong Bundy actually passed away but those rumors were untrue and then in 1994, King Kong Bundy decided to make a comeback to the world of sports entertainment. He wrestled in a couple of regional territories, including ECW and then um, the USWA. And then in the fall of 1994, the WWE promoted him to come back, like showed like skits of him coming back with King Kong, and then. King Kong Bundy returns to join the Million Dollar Corporation, and he gets a decent push, but he wasn't, he wasn't, like, super over. He was basically kind of, you know, not out of shape a little bit, and he had some, he had some high-profile matches uh, against, um, Razor Ramon, and he teamed with Bam Bam Bigelow a lot of the Million Dollar Corporation. He actually feuded with The Undertaker, and The Undertaker beat him at WrestleMania 11. And after that, King Kong Bundy's push faded away. Eventually, he left the WWE in late 1995. And then he wrestled for the next 11 years on and off in the independent circuit. But he just got tired of of professional wrestling. He was actually in a few more television shows and movies. And in 2006, King Kong Bundy retired from pro wrestling and he became a stand-up comic. And he appears in a lot of comedy clubs and he and he's distanced himself to professional wrestling because he doesn't like professional wrestling anymore. He says it's not like it used to be. And he did a shoot interview in 2010 saying, and a lot of not too good stuff about the WWE and he says he wouldn't be he would not want to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame because he's not worthy of it 
and he and it was it is a decent great shoot interview from Pro Wrestling Daily. I have his two disc DVD and I have a classic action figure doll of King Kong Bundy. King Kong Bundy never won a major WWE well, um, WWE title. I'm very surprised him and Big John Stedman were not the WWE Tag Team Champions at one time because they were monster heels. And that's about it on King Kong Bundy and that's about it on these video blogs for the night tomorrow you'll get three more video blogs first video blog will be about the continuation of the top 67 players in the, in the NHL since 1967 from 39 to 30 second video blog will be about the uh, classic TV game show the match game Hollywood Squares Hour and the third and final video blog of the night will be about former professional wrestler the one man game also known as a king keep calm everybody i'm a julie button guy molly O's blood of wcc all rocks and has nice legs a um elizabeth hot so so stunning amy swinzy this is the best lisa bell of local six is awesome michelle beetle has nice legs and in the words of charlotte to get out don't forget facebook youtube twitter and google plus questions comments concerns shout outs plugs send it to me and 19 more days into the next next ask which bulletin um, i mean question and answer video blog see you tomorrow good night